incel, or an involuntary celibate human, a member of an online race of young men who consider themselves unable to attract women sexually. Honestly, I feel more real here, sitting in front of the computer. When I go outside, I almost depersonalize a little bit and feel like I'm playing a video game. Typically associated with views that are hostile towards women and men who are sexual. Active. When you hear the word incel, usually people visualize an unattractive man that thinks he's entitled to some sweet, sweet puss. Even though he has no personality, lacks hygiene, resides in a basement, and has 38 different IG accounts where he constantly fights online as to why women are horrible. <laughs> because they don't want to date him. But what about the female incel? Hi, welcome to Disney month that we're starting in the middle of this month because I want to. And it will also end whenever I want it to. In celebration of my Disney art themed merch, Michelle merch, whether you're a dog mom or simply want to have butamus across your bosoms, Michelle merch is for you. Michelle merch, buy it. <laughs> Okay, let's get to this video. So we talk a lot about the fat acceptance body positive group. You know those women who are confident and we know that because they are always telling us how confident they are on TikTok. And you know if you say it, it's true and everyone will believe it. So something I noticed with this group is that they have a lot of incel type vibe. If someone doesn't wanna date them or doesn't find them attractive, they have a very big problem with it. Very similar to the male incels who are not the epitome of physical attractiveness or in their terms, they aren't a chad, a term they use jokingly to insult attractive men when in reality, it's just them calling themselves ugly. I don't get the joke, but you know, whatever. Gets you through life. Incels believe in a strange cosmology where a male archetype named Chad talks to women with ease and is rewarded with sex. Incels define themselves in opposition to this, as too ugly or awkward, and resent women for falling for the chads of the world. But the incel men try to shame women to find them attractive, very similar to the fat chicks in this group. So you know what time it is, let me just make my mic, cause baby, we got an intro. People who regularly watch me, you know the theme. Clear your throat, drink your water, do some vocal exercises. <laughs> It's another fat chick video And we're gonna find those fat female incels Who need the validation from the men that they say they hate The female incel is very in Why am I talking into this? The female incel is very interesting because most of the male incels dwell in the cool, dark basement behind a fake Instagram account of an anime character icon. Fat female incels will say that you're the problem if you don't find them attractive in broad daylight, right on TikTok. And then they speak very condescendingly and quite insulting as if men are the idiots because their obesity doesn't make them hard. Check out this comment from someone explaining to a fat activist that some people have something called preferences. Or he isn't attracted to bigger girls, like how some people aren't attracted to smaller girls. Everyone is entitled to their own preferences. Hey, bestie. <laughs> You're wrong. Whoa. But when your preferences exclude an entire group of marginalized people, that's problematic. So after that video went absolutely viral a few months ago, the fat female incels got a fire lit up their butt cheeks. Did they get up? No. They sat their asses back down and said, yeah, you can't have preferences. So let's listen to one explain this wonderfully and confidently because these people are so confident and well-spoken. Here we go. Um, it's not my job to educate you, but honestly, if- Okay, pause it. It's an ongoing thing in this group that they always want people to do better, be better, and less fat phobic, but then when someone doesn't lick their butt cheeks and feed them Oreos while doing it, asks a question like, so basically if you find skinny women attractive, you're fat phobic, it will always begin the video, which is usually very long, with, it's not my job to educate you. Look it up on Google and be better. Follow up question, how are people going to learn, hmm? Do you guys get paid to do this on TikTok? Because on YouTube, fat acceptance doesn't do well. Look at Tess Holiday's podcast channel. Then there's that other chick who's crying, begging for people to send her money so that she can move out of her parents' house who are fat phobic. Started a GoFundMe. I need to get out of my house. I've needed out for years now. My parents talking about how they're gonna have to bury me next because of my weight. Please boost this. I know it's a lot of money, but we have a lot of debt from COVID and unemployment. Please boost this, share this, donate. I need out. So it doesn't pay bills. It's not anyone's job, technically. So if you want people to be less fat phobic, you gotta teach them for free. Okay, I just had to get that out of my chest. They were just screaming to get out and to say that. So I had to do it for them. Now you girls get back in there. All right, everyone ready to learn? No, 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 no. I gotta get out of here. Too late. Just find someone who's like 
you know, teeter-tottering, wants to learn. Um, I don't know if it's this person, it's probably not because they're just commenting on my videos just for fun. Um, but in case this gets to anyone, you know, who's willing to learn. Willing and ready, baby. It is not inherently fat phobic to be attracted to be attracted to thinner people. Okay. If you exclude a group of people, fat people. Only fat people? From that attraction due to the fact that you think being fat, being fat is unhealthy, unattractive. Okay, let's break down all this logic. So we can be attracted to skinny people. That's not fat phobic. But you are fat phobic if you don't get a hard on or your coochie gets, you know, happy when you look at a fat person. And if you think that they're unhealthy. Okay, so I challenge that statement. Bodybuilders, for example, actually physique men. Physique category has like my epitome of an attractive male body. Mama light. -like. Very appealing, very lickable. It does something down there, so I'm attracted, right? Now, though I find that type of body attractive, I don't think that they're healthy. Technically, physique men, bodybuilders getting on stage in general uh, is not healthy, and they are a marginalized group, just as fat people. Good, you guys like to say that fat people are a marginalized group. Bullshit. And actually, bodybuilders are more of a marginalized group compared to obese people. How many people do you see walking out here like this? None. If you go outside, how many obese people do you see? Majority. But you know, I'm not the teacher here. This is not my class, so go on. School me on why it's so horrible to have preferences. Because why do you think it's unattractive? Where does that come from? My vagina. Your fear of larger bodies. You know what? Oh, I, need a, I don't even need my wand for this. <laughs> I'm so tired of these people saying I fear them. I fear no one. I'm Tinkerbell. Just kidding. I fear a lot of things. Peter Pan running off with Wendy. Peter Pan growing up. Pretty much anything involving Peter Pan, I can get very salty. He's like, so whatever. But what I don't fear is fat people. We have fat kids in our group. I'm just not attracted to them. I'm not attracted to Leonardo DiCaprio. I don't fear him. I fear for the young woman he gets with and leaves once they get too old at 25. Right? Like that, or not even your fear of larger bodies, but your distaste for, your dissatisfa dissatisfaction for. Are you shaming me because I'm not satisfied in bed with a fat person? If someone is dissatisfied with me, I can't force them to be satisfied. It's not really how things down here work. Someone needs to go back to school, health class, maybe ask their mom, maybe watch a few adult videos. Well, I mean, I guess they're acting. But you can't force someone to get turned on or satisfied by a certain body type if they're just not into it. Why aren't you more satisfied with me? Are you muscle phobic? Do you hate muscular women? Just be attracted to me! See how dumb that is? That's fat phobic. The way she paused. <laughs> Like she needed to because everyone dropped their mouths from this deep logic lesson we're getting, but really, we all dropped to the floor laughing at her, and she's just sitting there. I can like thin people. I don't always, like, um... Wait, 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 not the smirk. So you like thin people, but not all the time. That's still a preference. That is how she doesn't say it's thin phobic to not like thin people. She just says, I like thin people too. Just because you like thin people as well, doesn't mean it's not a preference. A lot of these people want to live in Disney Dreamlight Valley and imagine that people are only attracted to personality. When in most situations, you're attracted to someone's outer appearance first. They do this because they are not initially attractive physically to most people. So they try to give the sense that personality is the most important thing. And I think personality is a huge part of attraction, but I find it ironic because most of these people have the personality of a boiled chicken and breast. I, I love like a full bodied individual. Once again, a preference. Some people like bodies that are thin. Some people exclude them. Some people like obese bodies. Some people exclude them. Some people only date fit bodies. Some people don't date them at all. Um, and I can still like thin people too, but I don't exclude fat people from my preferences. Even if someone was fat phobic, why would you want to manipulate them into dating something they aren't attracted to? It's gross and pathetic and funny. Because at that point, it's no longer a preference. It's a bias. There's a stigma. There's a weight stigma, right? Which is where the, the phrase weight stigma comes in. Certain weights are stigmatized. Right? All rooted in racism, our fear, our hatred of 
black, large, disabled, whatever bodies. Wait, hold up. I know you're struggling to explain all of this. That smirk even just showed me that you don't believe this yourself and it's kind of funny. But please, and I'm not speaking for all black people, I'm speaking for most of them that watch my channel. And in your group, since you're white, I win, because I'm black. So I really request that you can keep my fucking race. Out your fucking mouth! I'm going to. Thank you for respecting my black body and letting me use my black voice. In case there's any bitches out there who's like, oh, why do you always have to bring race into this? Like, Yeah, we want to know. I mean, we already know. Your group is weak and you need more troops, but you know, tell us. You're a what, like, it's rooted in racism. Like, fat phobia is rooted in racism. So it's like, there are many things to break down at the same time. You're allowed to be attracted to thin people. Oh, thanks for giving me permission. You just can't exclude a whole group of people. <laughs> Sorry, Tinkerbell's not exactly evil. She's just a little feisty. Wait, what are you gonna do, force me to date a fat person? So this was really funny to me because the next group of women that I saw that gave me incel vibes was a podcast. I'm a good doula, I'm a chicka boola, baby, baby, What the f is not to love about fat women? I'm not gonna bash on thin people. Spoiler, if you listen to the whole thing, they do low-key bash thin women, but that's fine because thin women are thin and not marginalized, and fat women are marginalized, even though they make up Quite a bit, at least in the US. More than half, maybe? Oh, it's fine, they passed the vibe check. So in this first episode that I found, in the first recording, they say how amazing fat bodies are, how gorgeous fat bodies are, they're soft. Now remember, they're saying nothing about personality, education, interest, it's all physical, and you should date a fat woman because their bodies are beautiful, that's it. Why? Like, what is not, like, our bodies are soft. Like, they are literally beautiful. Like, the way our bodies are shaped. But then, in another episode of, what? What were they even called? Swipe fat? Look at the caption. Say it louder for the people in the back. Fat is beautiful. So there's that confidence showing again and how they don't, you know, promote obesity. Let's read the hashtags. Hashtag TikTok girls. Hashtag fat girl society. I don't know. If you have a whole society for fatness, I'm gonna guess that you promote fatness. Anyway, in another episode, after the episode when they just said, I don't understand why men don't want to date fat women. The obese women in the podcast say they would never date a fit man that watches what he eats because it doesn't fit their lifestyle. Guys who are super athletic gym buffs, yeah. I don't want to swipe on them because if all they care about is working out, and this is like me being very judgy, yeah. Um, are you gonna be down to eat a cheeseburger at 2 a.m.? One of the women even says she dated a man that was very fit, very lean, and his diet was annoying and so different than hers that it felt just very odd and weird. She didn't like the food and it caused issues in the relationship. It was always seafood, it was always a green, and it was always rice. It's like this has no flavor, it doesn't even have butter in it. Yeah. So one, y'all are fit phobic. They made a lot of judgmental claims about fit people. I for one do not eat very bland food. I season my food. They sat there and completely judged a once again marginalized group who always gets mocked and judged. So why can you or they say that you won't date fit men? You can make these judgments about fit people. Would enrage you if guys said that about fat people. You know the whole fat people are lazy, fat people you know overeat. But it's okay to say things like fit men won't eat a snack with us after we have sex. You want the guy who's gonna like act you hook up like is down to go eat a snack in the kitchen while you're naked. It, it sounds like she understood and realized that their lifestyles were so different that she didn't want to date him and quite frankly it won't work out. Why can these women do that but then be so confused when a fit man or just a man in general doesn't want to date them and then they play the victim and then manipulate, make fun, shame men into finding them attractive. Once again, pathetic. It reminds me of the pathetic incel men who usually want an anime looking girlfriend, which means she takes care of herself. She gets herself together, probably had some kind of surgery to enhance her physique. And with that, she has a physically attractive body. And then they look like Slugathor with gaming headphones on. Constantly on the computer about why women are horrible and what they should and shouldn't be like and say and look like. It's so funny too, because both of these groups, the women from the fat positive movement and those weirdo men that just are in the basement all the time, they hate each other. They absolutely cannot stand each other and they belong together. Y'all need to marry each other, but you can't. Why? Because you're not physically attracted to each other. I have to reiterate this, pathetic, People, oh my gay people, lesbians, LGBT crew people, you are not safe. Apparently, you are not as accepting as you think you are. Yeah, 
That's right, you just got infected with fat phobia. All up in your community. The struggle of dating in the LGBTQ community as a fat femme, lol. So let's see the girl that responded to it. Okay, no, like, let's have this conversation because like as a fat femme, I'm just gonna say this and it's probably gonna piss off a few people. Not piss off, just make me laugh because it's weird. And y'all don't wanna work through your fat phobia? Nope. I was wrong, it did not make me laugh, but it does flabbergast me that some people are so up their ass they would rather force people to date them and find them attractive or even shame them for not finding them attractive about something that they have complete control over. You are not someone who lost a limb. You didn't get your face burned off in a freak accident. You're fat. With a lot of hard work, you can change it. And don't give me that shit that some people have medical problems. Most of you do not. Most people are eating extensively, sitting too much, and on TikTok doing all of this, complaining. If you do bring up the medical thing, then that will give me a good laugh because it's that's a good one. Good joke. Even with medical problems, it's still calories in, calories out. Some people just have a harder time than others coming from a PCOS bit. It sucks. But it's not impossible. <laughs> and y'all don't want to work through your fat phobia. Translation, you don't want to work through dating me even though my body disgusts you. And matter of fact, y'all will deny it. To me, this is like when a guy asks a woman out and they say, oh, no thanks, I have a boyfriend. And then they find out there was no boyfriend. And then they start dating the Chad, the really good looking guy. And the guy is like, they lied to me. Why did they lie? Because many people don't want to accept that the person that they were trying to interact with isn't interested or attracted to them. And many people don't want to hurt your feelings. You know, even though people say society is fucked and they're all, you know, horrible people, many people just don't want to hurt your feelings in that way. I personally don't. And many of the women in the fat acceptance crew say, oh, it's because men are embarrassed of me. Or, you know, they're fat phobic. That's why they don't want to date me. When in reality, these people have very unattractive personalities, which makes their body, who is, which is obese, even more unattractive. Because let me tell you, I hang out with very many great people and there are big obese women in my group who have bomb personalities. They ain't got no issues. A lot of the men that will deny a fat woman, they won't tell you because you're fat. Why? Because you play the victim. It's always bad when a guy says no fat chicks. Unlike the podcast who declared fit men undateable. Most men can't say that without being called a fat shamer, disgusting, and I think probably racist at this point. I don't know. So that TikTok got a lot of attention. Good and bad, but mostly bad. Okay, so I have a TikTok going viral um, about the fact that there's a shit ton of fat phobia within the queer community. Um, as if a fat femme like me wouldn't know uh, what it's like to experience that. Um, but there's a handful of comments of people going, it's just a preference, stop playing a victim. Not I'm not playing a victim whenever I'm quite literally calling out the fact that you are fat phobic. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna agree. Yes, I am fat phobic. I don't date fat people. I used to, not anymore, not the point. But now I exclude them completely. Not even going to explain myself. I'm just going to agree with you. I don't date fat people. So now, what are you gonna do? Um, and the, for the people who keep saying, it's a preference, I need you to put your critical thinking caps on. Um, where did those preferences come from? My vagina. Stop asking me that. A lot of these people say that we were taught to not find people attractive. Yes, because of obesity. But I want to challenge that again. I grew up in the 90s, in the suburbs. Almond moms galore, okay? Thin was in, and if you were the size of mm, Nicole Richie, you were fat. So me being curvy, I was basically fat. I personally never really liked the thin look, but that was pretty much the only other body type other than fat. And then one day I did typo, and I saw a woman with abs, shoulder caps, and I fell in love. No one taught me to love muscular bodies. My body just got excited. And when I found out that you can work hard to get to that body type, I was so enamored. And then the more muscular I got, the more that I started being more more attracted to muscular men. I didn't tell my body to like it, it just did. You know, like how in the queer community you like what you like and people shouldn't get shamed for it. What happened to born this way, honey? Shall I tell all the gay boys to just like women? Can I make a whole video explaining to you why you should be attracted to men and not exclude a whole gender? No, because I'm not an idiot and women are your preference and I really shouldn't give a fuck. And no woman incel or male incel is going to manipulate me into liking them, once again, pathetic. Okay, clean yourself up, get yourself together. 
it's getting sad. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Get ready for a bunch of Disney outfits, Disney cosplays, and villains coming your way. Don't forget to get Beautimist with me and, or don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's free, please. I want to get to 700,000 subscribers so I can torment all of you. I'm just kidding. Tinkerbell's not evil. She's just a little feisty. Now remember, men like what you like and women don't let anyone tell you who's entitled to your tinker tits. Now you crazy kids, get out there and like what you like. And I'll see you guys next time. I like lace and I like braids, but I love my Free in my mind